The following unedited footage has been declassified by the Banzai Institute for Biomedical Engineering and Strategic Information. At the age of five and already a highly unusual person, Buckaroo Banzai makes a movie of his own tiny feet. <laughs> Location is the American Southwest in the year 1954. Young Buckaroo finds himself in the company of an eccentric group of particle physicists headed by maverick professor Toichi Akita, seen here taking the camera from the precocious child and scooting him over to his parents. Uh, Dr. Masada Banzai, preeminent Japanese quantum theorist, and Dr. Sandra Banzai, Texas-born pioneer in negative mass propulsion. Enamored of the great American West, it is Dr. Banzai who insists that his son bear the unlikely given name of Buckaroo, a tribute to his adopted homeland. Thus, the boy celebrates his fifth birthday at a most deceptively peaceful time as the advent of Soviet nuclear capability ushers in a dangerous new phase of the Cold War. Buckaroo seems content to enjoy what all children most require, a pair of loving parents. Electromagnetic particle acceleration. In 1954, a highly unpredictable phenomenon. Professor Akita, encouraged by President Eisenhower, assembles a team of crack scientists at the Texas School of Mines. Their daring objective, to prove that man can indeed pass unharmed through solid matter. Dr. Banzai is joined in the cockpit of his highly theoretical and virtually homemade gravity catapult by the fastest man on Earth, British race car driver George Campbell. But it is not speed alone that will do the job today. This is the secret ingredient, a radically redesigned oscillation overthruster. Buckaroo understanding little of what his parents are doing, it becomes an eyewitness to history. A sudden precipitous rise in cabin pressure signals the beginning of the end. The origins of this mysterious malfunction are later traced to a crude incendiary device planted under Dr. Banzai's seat by none other than the infamous Hanoi Shane.